Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be showing you another 10 of my favorite products from Priceline. You guys really loved my first video, I will have it linked down below in the description box if you haven't seen it. I have tried a lot of makeup from Priceline and so I want to make it easier for you by showing you my absolute favorites. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up while you're watching and if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do a ton of content related to Australian drugstore makeup and a ton of content that relates to being a super fair skin gal like me. All right, starting out with a product that I cannot believe I left out of the first video. When I was editing, I was like, <gasps> like I had this moment of, oh my God, people are going to freak out that I did not include this. And that is the L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer. I feel like I talk about this primer in every second or third video. I just love it so much. If you have a lot of redness to your skin, much like myself, then this primer neutralizes that redness. I find being so fair, it's hard for a foundation to completely cover up all the redness because there's not a lot of pigment in my shade of foundation. So using this green primer just neutralizes everything, gives me a nice even base to work with. Now I have normal combination skin. I get a little oily throughout my T-zone and then dry around breakouts. And this formula works amazing for me. It is a very runny, liquidy formula. I mentioned this a few times. I did try it out on my sister who has dry skin and it did not work very well for her. It clung to a lot of her dry patches. So if you have a really dry skin, I maybe give it a miss. I'll show you what the formula looks like. So you can see it running down my hand here. It's quite thin. I just like to blend it in with a brush. It doesn't leave your skin looking green. If you're worried about that, it's all good. It's all good. So this is what it looks like blended in. I have tried a ton of green primers and I just find that this one does the best job at neutralizing that redness. I have repurchased it a thousand times, but I do always wait till it's on sale because it's like $30 full price and <laughs> no, thank you. Another product that I left out of the first video is the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil Loose Powder. <laughs> I have been raving about this powder for years, years, I tell you. Now, Models Prefer is like Priceline's kind of in-house brand, I'm pretty certain. A lot of their makeup is pretty average, but this powder, oh my goodness, it leaves the most beautiful, glowy satin finish. Most powders leave a matte finish, but this, if you have a dry skin or you just want a beautiful sheen to your powder, this is the one to go for. Now, I used to go absolutely crazy with this powder. I'm talking sponge in, just smashing it all over my face. But lately, I've really just kind of toned it down. It is a very fair powder, so it works really well if you have a super fair skin. So I started to find that it was making me look a bit too pale. So that's why I've started to just strategically place this powder. Now I like to use a little bit under my eyes, especially if I am using a more glowy hydrating concealer. And same thing if I'm using a glowy hydrating foundation. I find that this powder works really well because it keeps the glow from the product underneath. It doesn't just completely mattify it like pretty much every other loose or pressed powder. It works really well applying it with a damp sponge or if you take a nice fluffy brush and just lightly dust it over your skin to add that little bit of glow. It's just a beautiful powder. I did hear that it was being discontinued and then I heard it wasn't. I'm not 100% sure on this, but as far as I'm aware, it's still available at Priceline. I do have some backups just in case, but it is an absolute beautiful powder and 100% recommend. Next, I have the L'Oreal Glow Cherie Natural Glow Enhancer, and this is a glowy primer. I love this. I'm done. I'm gonna say that about every damn product I mentioned today, but this primer leaves the most beautiful, subtle glow. It's not anything too metallic and bold. It looks really nice when you're doing like a natural makeup look because it just adds 
that gorgeous sheen to the skin and you're not going to look like the Tin Man. I really love the packaging of this as well. I feel like it's very luxe looking for the drugstore. So I've got a little bit of primer on my hand here. It's kind of like a very, very pale pink color. When you blend it out, oh my God, look at that. Oh, <laughs> as I was saying, when you blend it out, it blends right into your skin. It doesn't leave a tint of color and the glow. Oh my God, it is just so beautiful. It does have a little bit of a scent. It kind of smells like watermelon, rather faint. You can't smell it once it's on your face, but I can definitely smell it now. It's a very comfortable primer, quite lightweight. It doesn't feel thick or heavy on the skin at all. It just leaves such a beautiful finish. And I think it's also a really good primer to mix into foundations if you want them to have more of a glowy finish. Next, I have two foundations to talk about that are both full coverage and very long lasting. First up is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. And I feel as though this is a very underrated foundation. First of all, the shade range is huge. There are so many fair shades to choose from. I've tried, I think, three now. I still don't have my correct shade. As I said, this is a really long lasting foundation and one of very few that are actually heat proof and sweat resistant. It does have a matte finish and it is quite a matte finish. So if you have dry skin, you probably won't like this one, but I think because of that matte finish is why it lasts so long. Now, because I don't have my exact shade, I do like to mix this foundation. So I go in with light porcelain, which I'll just swatch here for you. And I like to mix this with my Maybelline Superstay foundation. I just think if you're after something that is going to last a really long time and you need it to be heat resistant, this is a really good option and one that I think is completely overlooked at the drugstore. And then my other favorite is the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Foundation. Now this one's shade range isn't as big. I find the shade that I have fairest is a little bit off for me. It's a little bit warm, but the shade underneath is quite pink. Now this one comes in a squeezy tube bottle and it is a very thin and lightweight runny formula. So this is what it looks like swatched. This one does tend to dry down quite fast. So I do like to work in sections and it doesn't go very well with layering because it dries so quick. So if you do try this one out, small sections at a time, the coverage is so full anyway that you don't need to layer it up. And I love that it's such a lightweight formula, yet I'm getting this completely full coverage. Again, if you have very dry skin, you might want to steer away from this one, but otherwise it is one of my absolute favorites for a super long lasting heat resistant foundation. Next, I have the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara, but this is in the brown shade. Now I have tried the original black version and I love it. I love the wand on this mascara. A big fluffy wand is my favorite because I find it does a really good job at separating my lashes, lengthening them and making them just look very thick and like they have a lot of volume. So I absolutely love this mascara wand. But why I wanna mention this mascara is because of the brown shade. This is a true rich chocolatey brown mascara. I think a brown mascara has a time and a place. And for me, that time and place is when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup or I'm going for a more natural look. I also really like it when my lashes aren't tinted because they're blonde, so you can't see them. And I feel like sometimes I just look a little, how you going? So I do like to put a little coat of brown mascara on just to make my eyes look like better. <laughs> but it just looks so much more natural than a black mascara. If you're super fair, I absolutely recommend trying out a brown mascara. You might not think it would make that much of a difference in your looks, but it really does. And this one I absolutely love. It is the perfect shade. I'll just quickly swatch it for you. So you can see the difference here between a black and a brown. 
Next, I want to talk about some bronzers. First up is the Maybelline City Bronzer, and I have the shade Medium Cool 200. Now, this bronzer is a very smooth matte formula. I find it blends really easily on the skin, but what I love most about this City Bronzer range is that there are, I think, six, five or six in total, and they all have varying undertones. Do you know how hard that is to find within the drugstore? And for someone like me, who is so fair, it is really important to find a bronzer with the correct undertone. Now I did originally have, I'm pretty sure it was Light Cool 100, but I found that that one pulled a little orange on me. So I went up to the next shade, Medium Cool. This one is a little bit deeper, but it still has that cool undertone. There are so many bronzers in the drugstore that are just warm and orange and they just don't work if you've got fair skin. So I love that this range has a ton of different shades and undertones to choose from. Another bronzer that I cannot believe exists is this Essence Contouring Duo Palette. Now this is definitely the coolest bronzer that I have found within the drugstore. Like it has the most cool undertone. So what I love about this is that it comes with two shades. You've got a very, very light shade. This could literally be a face powder for a lot of people. And then you've got the deeper, cool shade. This is only around $7. And considering it's from Essence, I thought it might be quite chalky and dry, but this is such a smooth bronzer. It blends so easily on the skin. It's not patchy at all. I am so impressed with this. And the fact that it is so cool toned, it just works perfectly for fair skin. I'll just compare it to the City Bronzer for you so you can see the difference in the undertones. I feel as though this shade works really well for contouring on fair skin, but if you blend the two together, it makes a really nice bronzer shade. It's still enough to warm up such a fair complexion, and the formula is just outstanding. Next, I have a cream highlighter, and this is the Rimmel Glow Stick in the shade Bubbly. Look, I've just been way too obsessed with cream cheek products lately, bronzers, blushes, highlighters, and this glow stick is fantastic. So this is what it looks like. As I said, I have the shade Bubbly. I've just got a little swatch here. This kind of highlighter shade is my absolute favorite. It's kind of like that light champagne. It doesn't have much pigment to it. It has quite a translucent like a back pigment and it just leaves the most beautiful, glossy, wet look. Like, look at that. It's really long lasting as well. Some cream products don't tend to last for a very long time, especially the more affordable ones, but I find that this one stays vibrant and glossy on my cheeks. How I like to apply it is with a, where's my sponge? <laughs> with a sponge, I like to tap the bum of my beauty blender in and then just tap it on my cheeks. It doesn't lift up any of the makeup underneath as well, which can be a bit of a problem with cream products. If you have been wanting to try out a cream highlighter and just are a little bit scared or you're not sure where to start, I would definitely recommend trying this one. I'm pretty sure it does come in two other shades if you're not as fair as me, but I just love that wet look glossy highlighter finish and this gives it to me. <laughs> And then lastly, I have a lip product, and this is the Astralis Girl Boss Velvet Lip Cream. They used to be called the Demi Matte Lip Creams. I'm not sure why they changed them. If they did change the formula, I really haven't noticed much of a difference, which is good. But anyway, this is a Demi Matte formula. So it's like a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't completely dry down. It still leaves a little bit of a sheen, but at the same time, it's very long lasting. Now I have the shade Empower, which is my favorite, or well, one of my absolute favorite lipstick shades. It is the most beautiful nude. It has quite a cool undertone to it, and oh, just love it. So this is what it looks like here. As you can see, it has a little bit of a sheen. It's very pigmented and opaque, so you don't have to apply a lot 
to achieve that nice rich color. I absolutely love the packaging too with this rose gold. I think it's very luxe. This lipstick formula also comes in a ton of shades. So if you love the formula, you have plenty to choose from. All right, well, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and hearing about another 10 of my favorite products from Priceline. If you haven't already seen the first video, make sure you go and check it out. As I said, it will be linked in the description box down below. As for the makeup I'm wearing today, I have the new Natasha Denona Glam Palette on my eyes. I did do a first impressions and review of this palette if you wanted to go and check that out. And on my lips, I have a mix of this W7 Velvet Luxe Lipstick in the shade What's Nude. And then on top, I have this Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Lipstick in Kim KW. This is a very light nude, so I've just gone and tapped that in the center. I also have an Instagram Reel tutorial on this eye look if you wanted to go and check that out. All right, well, that is all from me today. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you love any of the products that I talked about today or what your favorite products from Priceline are. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.